A great football stat that you may not have heard of is success rate. It's pretty simple. It aims to tell you what percentage of a team's plays were a success. So what counts as a success? On first down, it means gaining at least 50% of the yards to go. On second down, it means gaining at least 70% of the yards to go. On third and fourth down, it means gaining 100% of yards to go. You've actually been tracking success rate on third and fourth down forever. You just call it third and fourth down conversions. The average success rate for all of college football is in the low 40s, while in a single game, the success rate can vary from the 80s to zero at the extremes. The reason why success rate is better than something like yards per play is because it gives you context for each play. Rushing for 8 yards is usually a good run, but if it's on 3rd and 15, well, that's not so great. That run will push up a running back's yards per carry, but it won't impress success rate. Meanwhile, a gain of 2 on 2nd and 1 will drop yards per carry, but success rate will credit it as the good play that it was. Here is a larger example of where success rate can come in handy. Will Muschamp was trying to save his job in 2014 with new offensive coordinator hire Kurt Roper. In Florida's first game, the Gators beat Eastern Michigan 65 to nothing. The Gators gained 655 yards at a 7.6 per play clip. Before the game entered what football outsiders considers garbage time, Jeff Driscoll completed 85% of his passes for 135 yards with no picks. The yards per attempt rate is a bit low, but Roper likes to employ screens and swing passes that tend to push that number lower. It looks good, right? Well, not according to success rate. Driscoll's success rate in this portion of the game was a dismal 28.6%, which should have been a huge red flag. If his success rate against Eastern Michigan starters was this low, how was it going to get better against SEC starters? Driscoll would end up losing his starting job to a true freshman later in the season. The offense as a whole faltered, and Muschamp was out of a job. While the scoreboard told you that Florida had a great day against Eastern Michigan, success rate told you that the team was in trouble. Success rate alone won't tell you everything you need to know, but it's an important part of a modern analytical toolbox. It's time to start keeping track of it on more than just third and fourth downs.